Whether you're trying to price out a job or figure out how long you'll need to watch your laser, accurately estimating project runtimes is incredibly important. To see a projected runtime for any job, click the monitor icon in the top toolbar to open the preview window. The total time estimated is displayed towards the bottom right corner of the window. You'll see a slightly more detailed breakdown under the slider, where it separates the total time into cut distance and rapid moves. Cut distance is the distance the laser travels while on, and rapid moves are the travel moves between operations while the laser is off. If you notice the discrepancy between the time shown in preview and the actual job runtime, you can adjust the simulation settings. For shorter jobs, a few minutes difference might not seem like a big deal, but small inaccuracies can add up over time and become a bigger issue when scaling up to larger, more complex projects. This is why it's worth taking the time to get these settings dialed in when setting up a new device. Click on the wrench icon in the top toolbar to open the device settings window. Then click on the additional settings tab at the top of the window. Here we can see all values Lightburn uses to generate the job preview times. Any setting can be adjusted by changing the value in its text box. It's important to remember that these are specifically for the preview window simulation timing and nothing changed here will have any impact on your real time job speed or machines controller. For many machines, if you use the Find My Laser option when setting up your device profile, Lightburn auto-populates the simulation values by reading them directly from your laser's controller. If you set up your laser using a different method or made changes after setup, you can manually grab these values in the same additional settings window. Make sure you're actively connected to your laser in Lightburn and click the Read From Controller button at the bottom of the list. If you can't connect directly to your laser or it isn't compatible with the read from controller function, you may be able to obtain these values from the manufacturer and manually populate them. Having these simulation values read from the controller will get your job times very close. However, due to variations in the exact math used by different controllers and limitations in processing speed, they may require slight tweaking to get even more accurate timing. For Galvo lasers, Lightburn populates each field with default values that are suitable for most machines, but you may need to update max speed with your Galvo's scan head max speed and rapid speed with the Galvo's jump speed. Lightburn cannot account for timing delays used by Galvo lasers, which can cause a discrepancy on longer engraving jobs. To compensate, you can adjust the global speed scale value. Now you know how to import simulation settings directly from your laser and make adjustments to ensure they are as accurate as possible. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on Mastering Lightburn.